Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Asha, Bahashem Rakakudash. The true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh, who this world ignorantly calls God. The true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Asha, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem in the name and Rakakudash is through the Holy Spirit. I also want to give a double honors unto my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. I am the brother Yawanathan, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Beach camp. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, all right? Now, End Time Headlines is a media outlet, and it's kind of like a, a third party, second party. It's not mainstream media, but a lot of, you know, information comes out from that source, all right? So, you know, with me saying all that, I have it put up right here. It says Amazon wants your palm and TSA wants your face. What saying yes will mean for the future, you see? And I can tell you something about the biometric uh, devices that they use at the airport because, you know, I kind of rel uh, re relatively work close to it. And I can tell you that, hey, the uh, elite banking families, you know, beginning with the, the elites, you know, they will stop at nothing, you know, for this enterprise to be accomplished, but that's biblical prophecy, okay? So nevertheless, a Esau Edom is getting ready to move with the new, and, and he's getting ready to, you know, step away from the old. That's why everywhere you go, hey, cash is what? Cash is becoming obsolete. Many places don't, accept cash anymore you know everything is going digital and i believe that uh donald trump which uh, a, a front runner to become the next president absolutely said that when he comes in office crypto is going to be hot is going to be at the pinnacle man okay so that shows you where we are and when you go into the book of ezekiel the third chapter you know, Yahweh Bashmal Shah likens, all right, his men, his servants, the prophets, to be watchmen. So we're just being watchmen. You know, that's what Yahweh Shah also told the disciples, you know, that turned apostles, watch and pray. You know, pray and watch. And that's what we're supposed to be doing through the Holy Spirit, man. So I got a few precepts. All right, now, I got a few precepts. I'm going to bring them out. And that Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm not gonna. I'm not intending to make this one long, but again, gonna let the spirit flow. And since we are in the top, since we are at the end time headlines, there was another article as well, as far as cash. Okay. Let's see. There it is. Brought to you how by Shmuel Shah. Growing number of shops are going cashless, including major supermarket locations. You see. So going back to the first um, article I showed, it says that Amazon wants your palm and Whole Foods is, I'm um, slack it, Amazon and Whole Foods are one. And that's where a lot of the people shop at, you know, and beginning with the apostles and elders, I believe the elder apostle Tahar brought it out first as far as Amazon one, Amazon one palm pay. And even when you go into the airport, they have those uh, quick shops where you, you can pay with your hand, but they also have the option to where you could pay with a debit card. But we're coming into the days where, hey, there's not gonna be options, okay? Because debit cards, cash, all these things, you know, are, are going out with the old system. And Esau Edom is getting ready to come with the new. You know, like the, uh, the beloved brother from the camp, out of one, like you mentioned, cash, you have more freedom with cash. You know, you can't trace it, track it. Well, they have serial numbers, but nevertheless, hey, you can, you have a little bit more freedom. But, you know, with this NWO and Esau Edom getting ready to implement the Karagma, which is the RFID microchip, uh, um, the mark of the beast, you know, uh, going back into Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, you know, it's all going to be about control. So let me get this precept. It's in the book of Job, right? It's the book of Job, chapter 5. 
in verse 12 and he reads he disappointed the devices of the crafty right so that's what the heavenly father is going to do sending his only begotten son yahweh shah you know and how is he going to di disappoint the devices of the crafty and we know the crafty to be esau edom esau to be the crafty you know uh it speaks about in the book of psalms the 83rd chapter how you know they they, they have done crafty counsel and that's beginning with e esau and these different nations you know even the book of ephesians the sixth chapter uh it goes you know has a uh, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places who is that dealing with that's dealing with esau man all right so the crafty is these edomites but the heavenly father is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty through his only begotten son yahweh shah all right hey america is finished babylon the great is done it's through you know we, we brought that out at camp jeremiah 51 let me finish off this verse and i'm gonna go i'm gonna jump over to it so it says he dis he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise right so their hands cannot perform the enterprise and their enterprise is the m is the uh the, is the nwo all right the new world order okay where you will own nothing and be happy and that's uh coming from klaus schwab which you know he's uh in charge of uh what is that the the who no he's in charge of the world economic the world economic forum if i'm not mistaken the wef you know over there in the uk <laughs> but over there in those different nations all right so that's coming out of the dragon's mouth you know you will own nothing and be happy and this is where babylon is getting uh, uh geared to okay so real fast let me get that fast i lost it um jeremiah jeremiah chapter 51 verse 6 flee out of the midst of babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the lord's vengeance you see so this is the time of the lord's vengeance and the heavenly father fuck, the heavenly father is getting ready to do what man the heavenly father is getting ready to judge this place man all right yahweh shah is getting ready to cut off babylon man and this is why we have to do what we have to flee all right and this is not talking about a physical flee this is more so concerning a spiritual flee right when you go into the book of um when you go into the book of micah what does it say in micah the second chapter man you know scripture goes into the scripture goes into um arise ye and depart for this is not your rest man so america is not our rest babylon the great is not our rest and you know the heavenly father is getting ready to hey, to judge this place and we don't want to be partakers of the, you know the judgment right so verse 7 it says babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. See? That made all the earth drunken. You know, and that's why we're living in the times now. Hey, what the scriptures say? The scriptures say how the beast shall hate the whore, right? The beast shall hate the whore. All these different nations, all right? Also in the book of Joel, it says, let the weak say that I am strong. So we're in a time now where these different nations have drunk the wine of Babylon and they see that as what? It's bitter. Hence the meaning of America. The, 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 the word America and the meaning, it means bitter, you see? So we're in that time now where these different nations drunk the wine and they have a bad taste in their mouth, man. That's why these, what do you have now? And Salakia for rambling, but you know, bear with me. I'm not gonna make this one any much longer. But that's why you have de dollarization, all right? These different nations teaming up, BRICS, okay? These different nations teaming up together to take down ultimately what the power of America, man, okay? 
So it says, verse eight: Babylon is suddenly Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. You see? So even when you read the NLT, it says we would have helped her if we could, but nothing can save her now. Let her go, abandon her. You see? So that's hey, that's spiritual, man. NLT is on point. That her is talking about that whore. All right, you know, that whore, which is America, Babylon the Great, you know, that missed, you know, but nevertheless, like the scripture says, forsake her, you know, there's nothing that you can do to, <laughs> there's nothing that you can do. So the best thing to do, all right, if this message resonates with you and you are in fact an Israelite through faith, you know, repent, return back into the Lord. It may be so that, hey, the Lord will protect you, deliver you. All right. But as you look at all these signs, because the tokens are showing, as you see all these tokens, everything is showing us that this place is coming to an end. Esau Edom is getting ready to roll. All right. It says how he had two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon, you know, and that dragon is going into the dr draconian measures which he is going to go and to and do to reach this nwo man so things are going to get shaky but the lord has given us the unction you know the lord has given us the spirit to receive these things man so you know again um you know i didn't want to make this lesson too long and abarat the zah gonna come back and, and and break these articles down but i just wanted to you know bring this one out real quick lord willing nils edifying until the next time giving all praise glory and honor to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem and double honors unto the apostles and elders a great millstone everywhere peace and blessing to the elect till next time shalom